Jerry Jones is gone. After serving more than 30 years as the Cowboys owner, Jones has sold his beloved organization. And instead, the Cowboys needed somebody to take over with determination, a hustler, a man of the people and for the people, a leader that's not afraid to take big risks. And only one man could fit this role, Saul Goodman. A lawyer no more willing to take the risk to bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Dallas. The 2022-2023 Cowboys are led on offense by Dak, Zeke, CD, Pollard, and a number of other young rookies. On defense, Parsons, Lawrence, Diggs, and Van Der Esch. And with a tough 2022 schedule ahead, our Cowboys open up the season against Brady and the Buccaneers. This is a make or break year for Mike McCarthy and his regime. Anything less than an NFC Championship game appearance, Goodman has vowed that he will remove him from the head coaching position. And we're kicking off the year. Here we go. First and goal. Ferguson from Dak Prescott. First touchdown on the new season. And on this play, Brady feeling the pressure. Bad pass as Curse will pick it off. Chased by Fortinet, but not matching the speed. A pick six for the Cowboy defense. 14-0 Dallas and another play here. This one made by the Buccaneer receiver Mike Evans. He takes it from 19 yards out. First touchdown of the game. So 14-7 game. Here comes Michael Gallup. A big play sets up a first and goal. And two plays later, Dak connects with James Washington. Signed out of free agency, 21-7 Dallas. And the defense bringing the pressure. Second sack of the game there. And on a streak up the sideline, the rookie Tolbert will set us up a first and goal where Ezekiel Elliott will take it in, make it a 28-7 Cowboy lead here as we enter into the second half. 28-14, a touchdown pass. Dak to Gallup, 35-14. But on this pass, Brady lofts it up. It is broken up and intercepted by Jabril Cox, the second-year pro linebacker. But now here comes Brady in the Bucks. Mike Evans with the second touchdown catch of the game. And then Leonard Fournette will make it a one score game with his rushing touchdown so brady and the bucks have come back but dak trying to do his best it's intercepted though as this would be caught down ryan by cd lamb but brady would connect once again the third time the trifecta to tie this game up as we head late into this matchup fourth quarter 30 seconds and schultz with a catch sets us up near field goal range as brett Maher will walk it off. A long field goal, 41-38 is your final. The Cowboys are able to beat Brady and the Bucks, stopping the upset on their home field. Unfortunately, the Cowboys were bitten by the injury bug. We have four men out with injuries. Some are multi-week as well as we get ready to take on the defending AFC champion Bengals led by Joe Burrow. So down 14-0, second quarter, Dak connects. Gallup rises up over Jesse Bate in the defense, makes it a one-score game. The defense setting up the pressure. Burrow struggling, and on this slant on the RPO, CeeDee Lamb will do the rest, 14-all. Second half now down a touchdown. Burrow on the streak, trying to connect with Jamar Chase, but Hooker able to deflect the pass incomplete, but no matter, the third and goal, Mixon makes it a two-score game. And on a fourth and 12, fourth quarter, Dak Prescott finds his target. The halfback Pollard makes a third and goal. And on this play, batted and deflected. An interception in the end zone, touchback taken. And that would do it. The Cowboys would lose this one 31-21, setting up a big matchup in the division against the Giants. Second and nine, Dak Prescott looking downfield, finds Gallup on the zig, sets up a first and goal. And on a third and inch play, there is Ferguson again, his second receiving touchdown on the year. Second and five, Dak throwing out to the corner, finds C.D. Lamb, another touchdown reception, 14-0 Dallas, and the Dallas defense would be unrelenting as Gallimore off. The screen pass shuts down Barkley, and Pollard takes it in, makes it a three-score game. Jumping ahead to the fourth quarter, it was all Dallas, 38-10, a sack fumble parsons scoops and scores and that would be all she wrote here as the cowboys dominate 47 17 moving on two and one back at home against the washington commanders and the commanders stuffed at the red zone will have to settle for a field goal so we pick up third and nine six three lead make it more as cd lamb with another touchdown reception from Dak. we move ahead to the fourth quarter it is 13 to three but a big stop on a fourth and two sets up the cowboys here on a second five run from a Ezekiel Elliott, which would be then capped off as Dak Prescott splits the gap 
up the middle makes it a 20 to 3 lead then this interception would just seal the deal wilson able to pick off on the curl take it a house call 27 3 dallas as we win this one 30 to 3 at home moving on to three and one getting ready to take on the super bowl champion los angeles rams on third and goal there stafferty finds acres but he is stopped short and on this play one yard out pollard will make it a one score game seven to ten now as we pick up first and goal touchdown pass to cup makes it a rams lead picking up third quarter minute and some odd remaining and gallup will set us up for our first goal trailing 24 to 17 and just two plays later on the second and goal screen pass pollard will take it into the end zone make it a 23 24 game after missing the pat but parsons tracks down stops stafford in his track sets up the cowboys here in the fourth quarter cd lamb with a beautiful pass and catch right there for the third and goal dak finds his target it is a great play but unfortunately a holding call sets the cowboys back at a third and goal and unfortunately not able to take it into the end zone we have to settle for a field goal 26 24 lead but a pick right here malik hooker with a second on the year a big play on the third and nine interception and dak on a third and six trying to seal the deal it is caught by dalton schultz the cowboys would then be able to roll out the clock as we win this one against the defending super bowl champions moving on to four and one in the nfc getting ready to take on the four and one philadelphia eagles on the road for first place in the division and in this game it was all about the defense early on but sanders being stuffed first second and third and goal hurts is stuffed at the line and scoreless as we pick up second quarter on the bubble we find gallup for a touchdown seven nothing dallas pollard up the middle with the inside zone 14 nothing and right here the defense trayvon diggs picking up right where he left off from last season a int pick six make it 21 0 dallas at the half 28 6 as we move into the third quarter and ezekiel elliott will take it in an easy play a massive win for the cowboys 45 to 20 on the road so the cowboys starting off the year at five and one getting ready to take on the detroit lions and on a second and goal ezekiel elliott will be taking this one into the house five yards out seven nothing cowboys but jared goff would match it as he finds a nice target off the slant make it a seven all game and we pick up in the second quarter fourth and seven down a touchdown but no more as james washington over the middle of the end zone ties this game up on the second and two ezekiel elliott able to take this one down inside the 10 set up a third and goal where we find james washington for his second receiving touchdown on the game and from two yards out on his first and goal we make it a two possession lead with ezekiel elliott's rushing touchdown and then the first and goal we would seal the deal as pollard takes it from a couple yards out the cowboys able to win this one with a defensive play there fourth and goal last effort for goff and the lions the cowboys able to hang on and win this one 42 to 28. so after a tremendous six and one start it is about zeke and pollard we are trying to sign pollard to a, an extension and with this extension signed we would trade ezekiel elliott to the raiders for hunter renfro and draft picks so now the cowboys led by cd pollard renfro we head into this one against the bears at six and one so the Pollard era is upon us. What would we be able to do is the defense stepping up early against Justin Fields and the defense stepping up against Dak Prescott in this one early. But here he is, Hunter Renfro, the newest Cowboy added. Sets up a first and goal and on the handoff there. Renfro takes it from four yards out. Touchdown, Dallas. 13-3 lead, third and 10. Stuffed by the Dallas defense as Herbert. And on this third and seven, an ill-advised pass intercepted but out of bounds over the course of three and out. So the Cowboy defense doing the work early. But here comes Justin Fields and company. 13-6 to six now. And now, here we go. C.D. Lamb over the middle. Caught. There is a flag. We get the ball down at the one. And on a second and goal make it a two possession lead with another touchdown to cd lamb so fourth quarter 20 to 6 justin fields taken off and finds his way into the end zone makes it a one possession game here in the fourth quarter but the dallas defense would stand up on a fourth and three and seal the deal right here on a screen pass third and eight from here the cowboy defense and offense able to run out this clock and move on with another victory 20 to 13 at home against the bears so moving on we take on a big matchup it's a battle of division leaders the cowboys at the packers 
And we would get it going with Dalton Schultz. Third and 13, converting for the big play right there, which would be capped off right here on our first and 10. It's picked off, though, unfortunately, by Savage as he's able to take it down to the 25-yard line for the Packs. Second and 13, Dak Prescott feeling the pressure. The defensive line just getting after him with Huff right there. And on a first and goal, there is Watkins. First touchdown pass and catch of the day. And then make it a second one here for Dylan. 14-0 lead for the Packers at home. Screen pass on the third and six as Pollard picks it up, picks up a block, a beautiful pancake right there across midfield for the Cowboy offense. And on this third and 18, trying to find Renfro, it's almost picked and caught. We'd have to settle for a three and out. And picking up in the fourth quarter on this play, it is another touchdown pass for Sammy Watkins as it's a 21-0 deficit. Renfro, though, cuts into it down by 14. But unfortunately, the Packers would hang on to this one, giving us our second loss on the year as we get ready to take on the Vikings on the road. Second and goal, the Vikings. Dalvin Cook will set this up and make it a 7-0 lead here early for the Vikings. But the Cowboys here, Renfro on the third and four. The beautiful drag route sets up a first and goal. And from a five-yard out rush, Pollard ties this game up. Second quarter, 14-7, and it is intercepted. A pass that just slipped through the hands there of Renfro and make it a 14-7 deficit with the Dallas defense trying to do their best to keep things close. As we pick up seconds remaining in the first half, 17-7, make it 17-14 with a touchdown catch from Renfro. Second half, down three, Pollard with a big run right up the middle, sets this up one play later, squeaking his way through give the Cowboys the first lead of the game. So the Cowboys up third and goal, and here comes Parsons and Lawrence sandwiching Cousins, putting them down as we pick up fourth quarter now here as the Vikings. Albert Wilson the second gives them the lead here late in this matchup, and down by three, the last ditch effort for these Cowboys. It is not good enough as Sacks and thrown out of Sacks passes, not able to get it done. The Cowboys drop one here back to back for the first time this season. After those losses, Dalton Schultz and Van Der Esch would sign extensions for the Cowboys as we look to take a big win here as we are tied in the division. Seven and three, taken on the Giants and it is intercepted. Trayvon Diggs with another INT. He would take this one down to around the 30. Unfortunately though for Dallas, a sack fumble is picked up by Julian Love and that would set up here a 3-3 game. CD Lamb across the numbers able to set up a first and 10. Now moving ahead, third and four. Dalton Schultz trying to fight his way into the end zone, stopped at the one, and Dak Prescott would do the rest, flying high into the end zone. Now a 10-6 lead. Make it more. CeeDee Lamb, the streak up the sideline, make it a 17-6 lead. Pick it up in the fourth quarter, Saquon Barkley. A quiet game until then, makes it a one-score game. And a big moment here, fourth and goal, and Barkley will give the Giants the lead here late in this fourth quarter. At the two-minute warning, fourth and three, Brett Maher would give the Dallas Cowboys a 20-18 lead after a field goal, but here would come Tyron Taylor and the Giants. A great pass across the middle would set up this winning, potentially winning field goal, make it a 21-20 lead as the Cowboys drop their third in a row and now move to the fourth seed in the playoff picture. So how would Dak Prescott and company combat against Jonathan Taylor and Matt Ryan and the Colts? So here comes Pollard, a great play, break and a tackle, getting out, makes a third and goal, and Pollard will take it in and do the rest. 7-0 Cowboy lead. Second quarter, 7-3 lead. And here's a beautiful ball from Matt Ryan, caught by Campbell over the secondary, makes it a now 14 to 17 deficit as we pick up third quarter down by a touchdown we make it four for the field goal from brett maher third and seven on a screen pass here comes pollard right here gets a great block cuts across midfield as it's now trailing 24 to 20 the dallas offense able to put in a touchdown and take the lead but here we go the defense another sack from neville gallimore right there and now on a third and one here comes Paul having a tremendous game with over 120 yards, a superstar in the making here for the Dallas Cowboys, but the defense from the Colts, too much right here. Here comes Pollard, though, to set the Cowboys up at the two-minute warning, and we would run to get into position here for a field goal potentially for Brett Maher. Brett Maher would set it up another walk-off victory. Brett Maher coming in the clutch again. A massive win for the Cowboys here at home against the Colts. So the Cowboys at 8-4 leading the East, taking on the struggling 
Texans, but we have some injuries. Pollard out of action for the next couple weeks. So here comes Rico Dowdles. He'll take it in and make it a second and goal. And next play later, here comes CeeDee with a touchdown catch to give the Cowboys the lead, 9-3. to three. The defense standing up there is Demarcus Lawrence with another sack, a field goal taken. And right here on the slant, CD, another touchdown, make it a 16 to 13 game. Fourth quarter, Cowboys trying to get another touchdown. They'd have to settle for a Brett Maher field goal, make it a 19 13 lead. Under a minute remaining, Mills, fourth and 10, and he finds his target and puts him down inside the red zone. In the very next play, 34 seconds, it is a touchdown from Mechie. Mechie gives the Texans the late lead, but the Cowboys would not stop there. CD across midfield, Renfro puts Maher in field goal position, and we would once again walk it off. Maher in the clutch, 22 to 20. Cowboys were able to win this one here at the last second. So after back-to-back -back wins for the Cowboys, taking on the Jaguars on the road, and unfortunately for Dallas, this was all the Jags. The Jags were able to get things going. We had some injuries still hurting us, but here would come Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs, another INT on the year, picking up, just continuing to play great defense, but here comes the Jags. Now 17-0 lead from Christian Kirk. An interception here from Dak Prescott sets up the Jags yet again as Trevor Lawrence on the slant finds his target, Chenault Jr., into the end zone, 24-0. And uh, yeah, the Cowboys struggled in this one. Mike McCarthy, not a great look, lost this one 44-17. And with the division still in hand, we would take on the Eagles at home. And here we go with a big play. It is once again, Trayvon Diggs, another interception for the Cowboys. And right here on the screen pass, Renfro from a yard out makes it a 10-0 Cowboys lead. Third and five, 10 nothing Cowboy lead. Hurts rolling out, throws it away. They'd have to settle for a field goal. And on the screen pass, the defense right here bundles up as Sanders breaks the tackle into the end zone. We are tied at the half. Third and 14, third quarter. Cowboys lead by a field goal as the defense standing up, not giving much for Hurts. But this one picked, and Kelvin Joseph will make it a two-score game with the INT pick six. Eagles down by 10, third and goal, and Hurts right here will be able to find Smith in the end zone, make it a one-score deficit. 20-17 to 17 Cowboy lead. Pollard, though, with the blocks up the side right there, gets another touchdown, makes it a 10-point game for the Cowboys. And here we go, the defense getting another stop, and then we'd be able to run out the clock, the Cowboys, with another win here against these division rivals, and now we are the number one seed here in the NFC. On the road now, taking on the Tennessee Titans. You see the numbers there from CeeDee Lamb having a tremendous season, but here would come the defense. The defense getting a three and out there. And on the third, eight across the middle in the middle hash, CeeDee Lamb with a great catch. And on a third and goal, the defense from the Titans able to drop Dak Prescott. We'd have to settle for a field goal. And at the two minute warning, the Dallas Cowboys down by a touchdown, but Pollard takes it in from two. We are tied up. We're moving ahead to the fourth quarter, trailing 20 to 13. Renfro with a beautiful catch but unfortunately the very next play this one's jumped by the secondary defender an interception for the titans the defense needed to get a stop and off the edge demarcus lawrence with his third sack of the game would do just that so dak a desperation throw it is picked off again by the secondary and the titans would hold on for the win here at their home field so heading into the final game of the regular season, the Cowboys at 10 and six have yet to lock up a postseason position. We have to win this final game against the Commanders. The winner of this would go into the wild card. And the Cowboys would get the start early with a touchdown pass out to CeeDee Lamb and the defense able to get a stop there from the scrambling Carson Wentz. On a second and 10, a bad pass from Dak picked off from the secondary. And then on a third and 12, we're able to force a three and out and then after the three and out, Pollard from two yards will set up a 14-0 Cowboy lead. The defense would do their job from the rest of the way here as they continue to bring the pressure. And this one picked by Jordan Lewis would set up the Cowboys in tremendous field position. Up 17-0, Pollard would seal the deal with a touchdown, make it a 24-0 lead. The Cowboys would hang on to win this one 24-16, solidifying themselves as playoff teams heading into the wild card to take on Brady and the Buccaneers. And Mike McCarthy feeling the pressure. He knows he has to take a win here and lead this team to the NFC Championship if he wants to keep his job. But we would have to stop Brady and the Bucks, and the defense would do that job early. But here comes Mike Evans. Mike Evans with the catch, takes it into the end zone, gives the Bucks the early lead. Dak would have to respond second quarter, but a scoop up off the strip sack fumble from Vita Vea would set up the Buccaneers. 
Picking up in the second half, down 17-13 after trading some field goals. Here comes Hunter Renfro setting up a first and goal for the Dallas offense. Second and goal, Schultz would do the rest, giving the Cowboys their first lead here in this wild card matchup. Big play, fourth and one, and they hand it off to Fordnett as he's able to break through the Dallas defense, getting into the second level, and they'd settle for the field goal to tie this game at 20. It's a fourth quarter, Cowboys lead by a field goal, but Brady finds a wide open, Evans another touchdown pass and catch lead for the Buccaneers. Third and four and Dak taken down by Barrett, his first tackle and sack of the game. And here would come Brady and the Bucks on a third and six. We need to get the stop to force a three and out. But unfortunately, Julio Jones with the catch, they'd be able to run out the clock and Brady would continue his tremendous career. And that would signal the end for the Mike McCarthy era here in Dallas as the Bills win the Super Bowl. Brady with another MVP as Mike McCarthy would be fired by Saul Goodman. So who would lead this Dallas Cowboys organization as head coach moving into year two?